Hey guys. All right, welcome back. Um, it's been a while since I've posted a haul, and I have actually done quite a bit of shopping, and I've acquired quite a bit of things. Um, and because those were all like little purchases here and there, I didn't do a haul video. But if you guys are interested, um, I can maybe try to remember what I've acquired and maybe make that one big video later on if you guys are interested. Um, one of the things in those hauls was um, like I got the brass pencil case and I got a notebook here and there's several other different things. So let me know. Um, but today I wanted to kind of go over some things that I've kind of acquired in the last two days. Michaels and Joann's um, have some incredible coupons out there right now, plus they had a bunch of things on sale, mainly a lot of the Tim Holtz things. And so because Tim Holtz things are kind of on the pricier side of crafting materials, I jumped at the chance because I had the coupons and all of that, and I kind of stocked up. Partly because I wanted some of these materials for collaging, and I wanted these materials to finish up some junk journals that I had. And I thought I would do a haul for you guys. So, I think, I'll, t I'll tell you which ones I got from Michaels and which ones I got from Joann's. Currently, Joann's I don't think has the 30% off sale, and I'm going to post this up quickly so if you guys can still catch it, that would be awesome. Michaels is having the 30% off of all the Tim Holtz stuff. Plus, they just are giving out coupons for, I think, 20% off your purchase. And then Joann's right now has a bunch of coupons for 50% off an item, 40% off an item, and then it's like another 20% off your purchase, too. Um, so hopefully you guys can kind of match up those coupons to some of these things. I guess the non-Tim Holtz things are going to be, I got the Versa Magic inks um, and these are I guess they don't really have a theme but this one is perfect plumeria purple hydrangea Spanish olive and a Eugen blue I love these kind of subtle more muted colors I'm not really into bright stamp colors or ink colors so I thought those would be really nice to use in my journal and then these are by Art, My Art C is their website, myartc.com. And these were actually on clearance. So, and I'm assuming it's for kind of mixed media art. This is like a booklet with kind of cardboard cover, accordion style. And then it comes with the tin, and I really just bought it for the tin. And I think it was on clearance for less than $3. Because what I can do with this is I can turn it into a watercolor palette if I wanted to. Um, or just storage of other things to take to like meetups or something. But either way, I could use both of these elements, and I thought that was a really good deal. And then by the same company, Artsy, they had a round metal tin that was also on clearance and I thought that would be really handy for either storage or if I wanted to make like my own handmade solve or something like that because I like homemade natural products um, I can do something with that the tins are just really really worth it if you can find those on sale for that okay so everything else here is Tim Holtz and I think most of the stuff I did end up getting at Michael's, I think. Yes. Um, I'll start with these because I actually have a few missing. I ended up getting these angled metal corners. And what they are is you can actually bend them around the corners of pages. And they come in kind of like a silver, a gold, and then a kind of bronzy color. And I wanted to get that for a junk journal, which I will later do a video on. Um, so I thought that would be a really, really fun element to add one of my junk to one of my junk journals. I got a bunch of clips. I've got these little 
what are these called? Hinge clips. So you get a bunch of those. And then I've got these little mini paper clips. Once again, in three different colors. And then these come, I wonder if I can, so that's what it looks like. They're tiny, tiny little, they're like half paper clips, which are really, really cute. So I'll set those aside. And then I've got these little pins. These are trinket pins and they all have different sayings. So some say snippets, stuff, fragile, memoirs, elements. One's missing because I added it to a junk journal. And then these clips right here, these are index clips. So if you guys are able to take advantage of this, that would be, this would be a really good time just because I don't see Tim Holtz things going on sale very often. And I know they're very popular for if you're into like the mixed media, vintage look stuff. These are memo pins and I got this for my junk journal as well. The three different colors. And then I ended up getting one of the mini clipboards. I thought that was really cute. Could use that for something. You could actually use it as a canvas for something or if you want to hang it up and you can you know, clip a photo on there on the wall, that would be really fun. And I did get these two hang photos or posters on the wall. These are two photo hangers and then they come with the epoxy that you can put right here. So I thought that was fun. And then they, I don't know how new these are, but these are new to me. They finally came out with some new die cuts. And you know, I love die cuts. If you've been watching my videos for a while, I thought these were fun. These are paper dolls. And then I thought I would actually open these up and show you what they look like. So if you guys are interested, and any of the inside elements, you guys could go pick some up. There are a ton of pieces. Does it say how many? Um, you get 107 pieces with the paper dolls one. So you get a ton of tiny little ones. Dancer. Okay, this is hard because it's a lot of um, different pieces. You get couples. Little kids, wedding photos, people posing. This is awesome. So if you guys are into collaging um, or just kind of adding these old timey photos, I love old photos and old things anyway. So this is kind of right in my wheelhouse. This is really cool. I think they have some of the same images in different sizes too. So you can kind of play around with scale. That's kind of fun. Ooh, okay, yeah, there's tons of just different, yep, you get the, that's a little dancer in the smaller size, you get a little dog. Oh, this is fun. Cool, okay, creepy little children. There you are, all right. So it kind of keeps going on, but you guys get the idea, I'll just kind of set that aside. So that is the Paper Dolls um, package right there. And on sale, these were a really great deal. Um, this is the Layers packet, and you get 33 pieces with this one. So these are all bigger elements, kind of game pieces. So unlike some of the, I guess, older packet designs that they have, um, these are kind of like a, they have a smoother finish on them. So you can kind of see the reflection to see kind of what the finish is. An almanac, different ads from companies, packaging. So these are fun. I really like using these and incorporating these into my journals as tip-ins or actual journal cards. They're blank on the back. 
ledgers, tags, oop, different collectible stamps and all that. So that's really fun. Oh, that's cool. Copy from like an old address book or an old planner. Some of these would be a little too wide for your traveler's notebooks. So say that, that might kind of stick out a little bit. So you can cut these down, but these make for great background collage pieces. So that is the 33 piece set of the layers pack. And then there was also a little one and this is the regular Snippets Ephemera Pack, and this is 111 pieces. Okay, these have a lot of tiny pieces. Um, you get like little postal stamp fingers and hands, these little, like, look like old labels, tiny little pieces. And these are great for collaging or if you do junk journals, little game pieces. I think this is the largest piece. It looks like it's out of a book. Little map, bingo board, ads, little signage. Well, that one's kind of fun. It's a cutout. Um, what else we got? Little flowers, butterflies, sale price tickets, little flags, you get special delivery, letters. So I love these kind of fun elements and I actually have to rethink my die cut storage because it's getting a little full. Old, photograph, old photographs, boy, it's been a while since I've recorded and you can tell I can't talk. So these are fun. Oh, these kind of pop out too, so that's kind of cool. You can use that as like a little index card photo element kind of thing. Um, stamps, so that's kind of like an older design from one of their previous packets. More photos, these are really, really fun. So I'm glad I got these. There were a few other spots of, I'm sure, other ephemera packs, but those were sold out. So I couldn't tell if they were the older ones or newer ones, but keep a look at clock. That's like part of their older one. Um, so you can see all these different elements. These are just really, really fun and I'm really, really glad I got them. So, now I have to put everything back into their own little packets, but I wanted to get this video out there in case you guys are able to check this out and you want to catch it while it's on sale. Because I know some of these can get, you know, a little more expensive than your regular crafting items. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini haul for you guys. If you have questions, uh, let me know, and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!